Hey, my name is Brandon Scott, and this is going to be my unboxing video for the Integi slash two-wheel drive. Um, I guess you would call it a complete suspension upgrade kit. Uh, I bought this kit on uh, Amazon for about $160 plus tax and shipping. Um, and I'm really excited because it's supposed to be a full billet aluminum machine kit. And uh, yeah. So, let's get to it. Alright, so yeah. Just to confirm, the, uh, it's an Integi RC model hop-ups. The, uh... The product number is T8676 Gray. Billet Machine Complete Suspension Kit for Traxxas 110 slash two wheel drive. And the price was $159.99 plus shipping and tax. So, it all comes right here. We'll just. All right, off the bat, holy crap. As I said before, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not. But, uh, this is the product name. <laughs> you hear my nephew in the back room or background. All right. So again. I was looking at buying these pieces individually and building it over time, but I found this kit at this deal, and there were only two left in stock when I found it, and there was one left in stock when I got it, so I'm not sure if they'll ever be doing a restock of this kit, but as far as I know, on Amazon at least, I got the last one, so. All right, so we got some hardware with this as well, but as you can see, it's extremely high quality. Let's just unbox it all and look at it. So that looks like the uh, rear. This looks like the front. Front body mount. Uh, I guess these are some type of steering component. Rear knuckles. Front knuckles. rear body mount thing. Uh, front suspension piece, I guess. Oh my God, the quality of this is just amazing. I guess I'm missing some rear suspension kit or something. Oh, this is the part that I'm most excited about because I've had, I bought my car from my buddy who had it since we were you know, young teens. And um, he actually got a Jado like two years after he had this Slash that I bought from him. I bought it from him for a very good price. I'm not going to name it. But um, yeah, I got it from him. And then he had already upgraded the motor and everything and put a Valion. on. Here, I'll just show you the car before we continue unboxing all of this. Um, now, in this video, I will not be driving it after installing all these parts, but I will just be showing you all the parts because I did actually break my steering servo, but I have a new one on the way. And, um, yeah, so this right here, this is the car. Let's see if I can swap this camera around to give you all a better view of it. Can I not? No, I cannot. Okay, sorry. Uh, we'll do it this other way. All right, so this is the main part that I'm talking about. Like, ever since I got it, I smacked it into a curb a couple of times, and this front bulkhead has been messed up ever since. Yeah, that should give you a little bit of a better view of it. But, um, yes, it has the Valenion VXL 
3S and I have several 3S batteries. Um, this is the servo that are broke and I've tried using a uh, tire glue factory team liquid concrete several times. I haven't been able to test it out yet because I've been busy doing something else, but as this back piece right here, brand new wheelie bar tells you anything about this vehicle, you should understand why um, all these components here will be key to making it even better. As um, you see, I've got quite a bit of play back here. I have replaced these bearings and the knuckles themselves, but for some reason, um, it's still very difficult to uh, understand why it's doing this in the first place. I did have to replace this drive shaft here as my brother did donuts in the dirt and ended up actually stripping it entirely off of the um, axle itself. I cut this out. I do a lot of work on other things. Um, but yeah, so that's enough of the car. Let's get back to unboxing this stuff. Alright, so I think we've only got a few more items left. And we will take them all out and look at them. So, oh, these are the hex hubs. Those are nice. Oh, it even came with an Allen wrench and screws. Oh. Okay, so these are entirely different from the ones that I have. These ones actually screw into the hex hub itself, so that way it bites down onto the axle. Wow, that's really cool. Smart too. All right, so these are the, um, wow, this is the, um, the steering. We've got, I'm not sure which one is which. I'll figure it out eventually. But, um, so we've got the fronts or rears, whichever they are and the front or rear control arm. So, we'll go ahead and start with what I'm most excited about, and that is this front bulkhead. You get these in a variety of colors on Intensive's website or Amazon, eBay, etc. But, um, when I saw this kit for the full, you know, natural metal finish, I was uh, uh, very excited and decided to purchase it. So, let's try and get you close to the light to see this. But yeah, the quality on this is just amazing. Like, just look at that. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? This thing is awesome. Oh my God. You can see all the um, marks and everything from the CNC machining. Overall, this is, um, this is just beautiful. I'm so excited to get this on the car, get it running. Although I still am waiting for my servo to come in. I ordered it Saturday, got two days shipping, still hasn't shipped, it's Monday now. Well, it may have, I don't know, I have to check my email, but, um, yeah. So, next, I guess we'll open up these, uh, A-arms. Again, the quality of this is just insane. It's beautiful. I'm just gonna pull this one out and show it to you. Like, look at all these different. Uh, darn, this is probably not the best. Put them over here. If I get it to stay steady. All right. There, that's much better. Yeah. This is just insane, the quality of this, these parts here. Now, there are some slight scratches and everything, but that's as to be expected. I did buy this kit from, uh, not directly from Itaji. I'm guessing somebody that just put this kit together. And um, I'm going to leave these ones here. Put this one back in there as well. So it's to prevent any more scratches. I, I do do some welding. And my workbench here. A lot of uh, fragments. <laughs> Or metal shavings, we would call it. All right, this is the front. You can see all the little holes. Uh, I have to figure out what all of this is for. 
but yeah. Set those over there. Check this out now. So this is the steering shaft. I'm assuming it's gonna be going down like this or maybe like this. Not entirely sure, although I do know that this is the right side, I think, yeah. The way that it'll sit on the car. But, um, yeah. Oh, so it actually does have bearings that goes there. So the smaller bearings are four. Okay, yeah. I actually bought a, um, a full bearing set for when I do assemble this and put it on the car. Uh, it's actually right up here. Uh, TRBRC ball bearing set. Um, it should, it's got a bunch of 5x11x4 by by millimeter and then the, uh, the smaller ones, I'm not sure exactly what the dimensions of those are, but it came with some stickers, so we'll definitely have to put those in the car. Um, so, next we'll do the front knuckles. I don't know if these are oversized, hopefully not, but as you can see, not sure how well you can see it, but these are really high quality parts. Go to the rears next. Oh yeah, that is just beautiful. Probably should have cleaned my hands before doing this. Let's work out a push mower earlier. A customer brought in, had a fouled plug, cleaned the carb, fired right up, ran like a dream. Well, I should add that I did actually change the spark plug do the other one being fouled out. I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea about that. Um, next item. I'm guessing, I honestly have no idea what these are for. I'll figure it out, but, yeah. If you can see in Tetchy there. Really nice parts. Yeah, so now that I got you guys in a better lighting, you can see this uh, sticker tag thing here. Okay. All right, so do this next. Have no idea. What this is, I'm guessing this is for the rear. From the looks of it, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely for the rear. And then these are what the... Something goes to. I don't know. But... As you can see, it's really pretty. All these different adjustable holes and everything else. I'll have to figure out what works best over time. Certainly, but... That one came with some screws. All right. So this one, oh my God, look, is that carbon fiber? It looks like carbon fiber. It looks like it's a carbon fiber overlay though. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. It does look like, I've never felt carbon fiber in my life before, but I know what it's supposed to look like. I'm not sure if this is carbon fiber, or if it's false carbon fiber or what. Maybe you guys could tell me down in the comment section um, to whoever does watch this video. But yeah, I'm not sure. Cause it's got like these layers on the back. You can see that right here. 
It doesn't feel like metal. It feels like something entirely different. But yeah. That's cool. Everything's nice and tight already too. I don't have to go back and double check anything. Although I will anyways, because that's just what I do personally. But, um, yeah, I'm guessing this one's for the rear. By the way, I don't have a body. I'm gonna get a body in the next couple of weeks, more than likely. Um, just something I haven't really been worried about. All right, so let's check out this front one next to see if this one is the same material going across the top, which it appears to be so. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, unfortunate. These ones don't look or appear to be uh, CNC metal like the other ones are. This looks like someone just slapped these on here. That's unfortunate. Not sure what these are. They definitely don't look like the rest of the kit does. Huh. I have to look and see if that's supposed to be like that or if I got gypped on that part. But yeah, so this is the same style material, it appears, that the uh, rear one was. So this, I'm assuming, is for the front. Yeah, it looks like it'll go down like this, I'm guessing. I don't know, really. I honestly don't. Maybe like this. Yeah, that looks like it's how it's gonna go. But, um, yeah. I don't know if you can pick this up or see this, but you can see the CNC marks inside of here. Get you guys to see that. Yeah. Looks really nice. Crap. Alright. Yeah, so there's that. Only got a couple more pieces to go through. Sorry I didn't mean to drag this video out this long. Um, yeah, so. Which one is this? I'm assuming this one is the rear, as to it is not as long up in this area as this other one is. But, as you can see all the machining that went into this piece. And then the back side is just flat, polished. Really nice piece. I like this a lot. Oh wow, that's crazy. I, I don't think I could ever get the camera to pick this up on this phone. Um, but I can see where the, the bit came down and started and went through and came back and ended and everything. See all the swirls from it? Wow, this is really cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so. We've got one more piece to look at after this. I don't know why I didn't come up with some type of order I wanted to go in. I'm just kind of going with the flow, you know? So this is the front piece. Same as the last one. Flat polish on the back. Machining on the front. And uh, the clear way to tell the difference between the two is this one is much more elongated, goes back further as compared to the other one that is a lot shorter. Um, yeah. And it looks like I did indeed actually crack one of these again on the front. So I had a problem where I cracked one of those on the front before and uh, thankfully, my buddy had a replacement one that he did give me when I bought this from him. But it appears as if I have uh, already cracked that one without knowing. 
upon looking just now, I just noticed that, um, well, it's a good thing I've got this kit here. And it did come with some new hardware as well, which is really cool. You can never have enough hardware, never. You never know when you're gonna need it. So in this case, I would like to replace that, and it appears that I do have the correct, the correct ones to do so, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, we'll just get this back in the bag. All right, so last but not least, certainly not the most exciting thing I could have saved for the last one, but nonetheless, it's still cool. These are the Hex, Hex uh, sorry, I'm tired. Um, these are the Hex Hubs for uh, the spindles on the rear and the knuckles on the front. Well, these go in front of the knuckles. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but as you can see, as I was talking about earlier, they have this little tiny hole right here that these screws go inside of. And then, you know, your, your actual stub right there to hold this in place on top of the um, axle goes, still goes there, but this screws on to the um to the axle itself so that's really cool um i'm so excited about this kit um yeah and that's the um allen wrench i was talking about came with it with the screws but um yeah so the next video i will be making is disassembling the old slash suspension components and upgrading them to these new ones because uh, as far as i as far as i understand all of the components on the slash oh there's all the other stuff that i work on um well a lot more than just motors but um as far as i understand everything on this suspension wise is still stock and it's all the plastic rinky dink parts that break you know so i'm excited to see how much better it's going to perform with these new suspension parts um yeah so you'll be seeing that video here in about a week or so um thank you for watching and if you like this and want to see more of it you know hit the subscribe button like it put a comment down in the comment section um yeah um if uh yeah if you just like it then i'll continue doing this if not then i'll just uh do this for my own Enjoyment, I guess. I don't know. This was kind of fun. So let me know. Well, take it easy. Have a good day. Bye.